Welcome to PIB News Podcast for Civil Services. Private Players in Defence Manufacturing Defence industry sector, which was hitherto reserved for the public sector, was opened up to 100% for Indian private sector participation in May 2001. Since the opening up of defence sector, a total of 584 industrial licences have been issued to 358 companies for manufacturing of various defence items. The initial validity of the industrial licence granted under the Industries, Development and Regulation Act has also been increased from 3 years to 15 years. Increase in validity of industrial licences has provided sufficient time and space for companies to start operations and manufacture without hindrance. Further, in order to give a push to domestic defence industry, the government has taken several policy initiatives in the past few years and brought in reforms to encourage indigenous design, development and manufacture of defence equipment in the country, thereby expanding the production of indigenous defence equipment to strengthen our armed forces. These initiatives, inter alia, include according priority to procurement of capital items from domestic sources under Defence Acquisition Procedure 2020, announcement of 18 major defence platforms for industry-led design and development in March 2022, notification of three positive indigenization lists of total 310 items of services and two positive indigenization lists of total 2,958 items of defence public sector undertakings, for which there would be an embargo on the import beyond the timelines indicated against them, simplification of industrial licensing process with longer validity period, liberalisation of foreign direct investment policy allowing 74% FDI under automatic route, simplification of make procedure, launch of innovations for defence excellence scheme involving startups and micro, small and medium enterprises, implementation of public procurement, Preference to Make in India, Order 2017, Launch of an Indigenization Portal. Namely, Srijan to facilitate indigenization by Indian industry, including micro, small, and medium enterprises, reforms in offset policy with thrust on attracting investment and transfer of technology for defense manufacturing by assigning higher multipliers, and establishment of two defense industrial corridors, one each in Uttar Pradesh and Tamil Nadu opening up of defence research and development for industry, startups and academia with 25% of defence R&D budget earmarked to promote. Development of defence technology in the country, progressive increase in allocation of defence budget of military modernization for procurement from domestic sources, etc. Thanks for listening. Kindly, like, subscribe and share.